Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters with a look at your Alabama weather for Sunday, February the 18th. Quite an interesting spell of weather ahead of us. Our satellite imagery this morning shows a bit of a contrast with some clear skies over the Tennessee River Valley. You can see the river in there and with cloudy skies basically in central and south Alabama. Looks like the front which passed through us yesterday and is now <clears throat> down <clears throat> excuse me is down along the Gulf Coast will uh, actually be coming back north as a warm front and temperatures today should climb nicely into the uh, 60s once again. The uh, upper air pattern, the 500 millibar pattern, shows a trough that's moving through, and after that trough moves by, the ridge is going to make itself known in a big way. Temperatures this morning are quite uh, contrasty. We have the lower 40s in the Tennessee River Valley, and actually a 39 there at uh, Fort Payne. They're around 50 in central Alabama, and they're in the lower 60s in south Alabama. Radar still showing just a little bit of uh, some very light rain uh, along uh, and just to the north of that front. The watch warning map is very complex this morning. The gray areas you see uh, in the southeastern U.S. are basically uh, dense fog advisories. The uh, green you see in the mid-south area of northern Arkansas and west Tennessee is uh, flash flood watches. And then all the rest of that that you see uh, basically over the uh, northern uh, Rockies and the north central U.S., the purples, pinks, um, and, um, yeah, purples and pinks, those are uh, winter weather advisories. And then there's a uh, high fire danger in uh, western uh, Kansas and the Oklahoma and Texas panhandles. QPF-wise, we're looking at a very uh, large swath of rain that could be from 2 to 5 inches, stretching from northeast Texas all the way up into the central Great Lakes. Looking a little bit closer to home, uh, the range is from nearly nothing in the southeast in the vicinity of Dothan to about an inch and a half or so in the extreme northwest corner of the state. So certainly will help with the drought, but it's not going to help much, especially in the southeastern part of the U.S. Storm Prediction Center has uh, outlook for uh, just storms uh, <clears throat> basically along uh, the uh, Pacific moisture uh, surging into the U.S. Uh, across Mexico and uh, into the mid-Mississippi River Valley. Day two, there's not much difference except they've added some thunder out over uh, the central Rockies. And then day three, once again, not much change. All right, let's get to the 06 GFS model run. And uh, the trough is moving off, and so our ridge is beginning to pump up today. And uh, what that means for us is just an Possibility of some uh, isolated to scattered showers. Um, not everybody's going to get wet, that's for certain. The ridge really pumps up on Monday, uh, partially in response to that really deep trough coming in uh, to Southern California and uh, headed for the Four Corners area. And uh, that means a lot of rain for the central U.S. And for us, once again, probably can't rule it out completely, but probably on the order of maybe 20%. The ridge really big time there just off the east coast of Florida as the trough to the west begins to uh, come out uh, as you can see it there uh, coming out of the four corners location and of course that still means a good deal of rain in the central plain states stretching up into the Great Lakes where that uh, nice fetch of Pacific moisture just uh, take a look at this 500 millibar chart on Wednesday still ridge big time uh, but notice that uh, coming out of the south pacific the moisture comes right across uh, mexico and texas and right up into the middle mississippi river valley so a nice stream there and once again that brings uh, a good deal of rain as moving a little to the southeast and that's where there uh, lies some uh, problems with uh, the models the ridge begins to be, be beaten down by the first short wave coming out of the Four Corners area as another one is beginning to dig into southwest part of the United States again. 
And that brings the front, according to the GFS, down into our vicinity. And I think late Wednesday and Thursday, probably most likely Thursday, will be our best time frame for some rain. However, let's look at the European. And the European, not quite as bullish on bringing the front as far south or southeast. As a matter of fact, it doesn't look like the... the um, Main rain actually gets into Alabama, according to the European. It's probably going to be a nice solution between the two. The ridge uh, does uh, stay with us on Friday, but that uh, low, that trough coming out of the Four Corners area is going to beat that down once again. But once again, that keeps the main rain off to our northwest. By Saturday, the uh, that trough coming out of the Four Corners area is once again helping to beat down the ridge and uh, make it not nearly as strong and potent. Uh, but that brings another front in our vicinity on Saturday. So I think Saturday is also going to be a pretty good shot at uh, rain. On Sunday, you see the ridge is now uh, a little bit like it is today. It's not nearly as strong by Sunday. Uh, but that front has moved down and has now become parallel to the upper flow. And the result is it's probably not going to go anywhere. So we stay pretty wet. All right, looking out into voodoo country, and we really have a big change coming. We see a nice ridge on the 27th of February, kind of over the Mississippi River Valley. By uh, the time we get to the 2nd of March, we have a very strong short wave moving through the middle Mississippi River Valley. And that certainly is suggestive of a look that could potentially have some severe weather. But we're in voodoo country, so we're not going to make a forecast like that, but certainly something we'll want to keep our eye on. Another ridge raises its head on the 4th of March, but hold on, Nelly. Look what happens by the end of the period at the 5th. We see a nice trough digging in deeply into the eastern part of the United States. That's why I say in the discussion, don't put those coats away just yet. That'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, enjoy the cooler temperature today because it's going to be warm Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Have a great day and Godspeed. AKS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.